practice the next morning. It's May 1st. It's 4.55 in the morning. Walking into my new spot that the guy showed me. <clears throat> I hear hens already starting to yelp over here. I know that, that there's going to be cobblers there then. Yes, sir. So, I'm about to slip in here as quiet as possible. They're all on that other hillside, I think. Stop gobble. I mean, she's probably on the ground. The hands show her and stop the. Then they left. What's that coming on here?
I can play, I can move on this bird. If it was behind me, it's so hard to tell. When you're really not paying attention, they let one out. Just had a coyote run right here. Sprinting. About 20, 25 yards from me. You know, he's been eating good. I wish I saw him gobble again. Because if it is, if he is, if he is coming this way, which is very possible, he is. I need to get it moved on, get turned. Give him just a second. Number two down. Sorry, he was getting out of there, so I had to kill him. Good gobbler too. I've been hearing this hen up here somewhere, and I had the camera running, and uh, so I was calling to her. She kind of shut up a little bit, and I didn't know where she was, so I was just staying put. And uh, lo and behold, up here by this grass right here, these whatever that is right there, um, I see a fan come up. I said, "Oh man, there he is." I thought I had heard a spitting drum at one point in time, but it was only like. Literally like 30 seconds before I saw him. So, turned the camera on and I was easing, easing, easing. He just was walking down this top of this ridge right here. and Or th this ridge right here. He's walking down it. And uh, I was easing over, trying to get the camera on him the best I could. And uh, he broke strut and turned around and started going the other way. I knew that was probably the only shot I was going to get, so I took it. And I killed him right there. Number two down. It's time to head to Wyoming. Been sitting here for. It's eight o'clock I'm missing here for two hours probably smoked him let's go get him big gobbler big old gobbler got a good old beard on him good pretty fan on him let's go get him holy good shot that's probably a 50 yard shot if I had to guess that changed quick I've been sitting here for two hours looking for birds or just listening I was gonna try to get him on camera but I think he smelled a rat and he started going the other way so I said nah like I said yesterday, I ain't doing it. I ain't letting the bird go. That's for dang sure. I just killed a giant Miriam. Awesome. That is a monster Miriam. <sighs> yes, sir. Tired as can be. Not that excited because I'm so tired, but that is a stud Miriam. Hook daddy. That one spur, that's every bit of an inch and an eighth. That's the biggest Miriam I've ever killed. I think that's gonna make number six or seven Mary, seventh Miriam I've killed. That's a great, a great Miriam. Now it's time to head to Wyoming. We're gonna be in Wyoming and by 12 o'clock, by tags. This is awesome, man. Can't beat it. Number two down. Let's keep it going. Well, we got number two down for the trip. 
same thing happened yesterday. They just weren't talking to me. wasn't gobbling when he came in. I, I just heard a hen yelping. Looked up, see a hen's head, and then I see a. I could barely see him through the grass up on that hill. I see this fan. Thought I heard maybe a spitting a drum, but it was 30 seconds before I could even see him. So I had no time to get the camera on him. I tried to ease the camera over there on him. He was coming down the ridge right there where I shot him, and I was trying to ease the camera over there to him. And I was every time he'd go into strut, I'd move it just a little bit. And every time he and every time he'd break strut and look at the decoys, I'd stop. And I didn't get didn't get it over there on him fast enough. And he he broke strut, turned around, and was walking the other way. And I, I like I said. I'm not in the business to let birds go, especially being 18 and a half hours away from home. I came here to kill turkeys. And this is a monster. I'm so glad I shot him. He's got beautiful tips. He's a little, little, he's not as white, I don't think, as the last one. But these spurs, definitely the biggest Merriam I've ever killed. I mean, that's an inch and eight all day long right there. This one's probably three quarter of an inch, but still a great Merriam. Got a great beard for a Merriam, too. Great beard. Called that hen. I think I was calling the hen to me. She, I mean, maybe if I wanted to move, they'd come to the decoys. But I, like I said, I don't care. Not my problem. It's his problem. Yeah, he don't know it anymore. What a great hunt, man! I've been there's turkeys all in this place. Just they just weren't gobbling good after that sun got up. They gobbled really good this morning. Really good. Gobbled at everything. Hens were going off. Jakes were trying to gobble. Long beards were gobbling. Just a great, great morning hunt for turkeys. <sighs> but I wish he'd have been gobbling when he came in, but I don't care. Dead turkey. More turkey meat. Now I get to, I've been here for two days. I <laughs> mean, we're rolling right now. It's only 824. I got a breast stem out. I got everything in my truck ready to go. I got to fill the tag out. Let's do that right now. Just gonna punch a hole here where I killed it for the day and everything, so it will be legal. So it is uh, obviously a male turkey. Watch that, May. Watch that, and that first. Watch that. Really? I couldn't have punched that tag on a nicer Merriam. That's definitely my biggest Merriam to date, no doubt. He's a good one. Killed one last year that was a good one. I thought he was a monster, but this one beats him. That's for dang sure. What a pretty bird. What a quick trip to Nebraska. Two days, two birds. Two good birds, too. Now it's time to head about four hours north to Wyoming. Let's try to keep it rolling. So y'all stay tuned.